Okay, so I finally received my Creo Pop. Let's have a look what's inside the box. The actual pen is inside. As you may know, the Queer Pop was an Indiegogo campaign which was funded uh, somewhere last year, I think. And uh, after many delays, the pen finally got delivered. There is a second box inside. Um, let's see what's in there. And it contains uh, the cartridges. So this is a regular ink, ah, so there are probably different types, or it's all regular ink, it all says regular ink. There is also a voucher um, to get some discounts. and open the box. It's a magnetic box and it contains the pen and another set of inks. There is a seal here on the side. This is much lighter than expected, and there's already a bit coming off. It's all plastic. Um, yeah, let's see. And I'll put the ink with the others. And let's check the bottom. An instruction manual. How to use it. Instructions on how to unpack, that would be useful if it was outside of the packaging. And a little mat to print on. And a mini USB cable. Anything else in here? That's it for the box. That's how you open the pen, you twist and pull. This is a cap. And the difference with this pen compared to, to other pens like the Tree Doodler is that it doesn't have a hot end. It uses UV light to cure uh, the resin which is in the cartridges. So it's not using filament like a 3D printer or like the, the Tree Doodler, but it's using uh, a special resin that becomes hard when you shine UV light upon it. In, in a way, this is safer for kids because they cannot get burned, but I wonder if it works just as well. Um, so uh, I guess we'll put a cartridge in and, and try it out. There are three cartridges, all regulars, and there are also different novels included to put on the cartridge.
It says here that some ink packs come with different types of nozzles, but from what I see here, all three nozzles are the same and are just the regular cylindrical uh, outputs. Okay, it also says here that before using the pen we have to fully charge it for 2 hours. I otherwise charge it for 10 minutes and then use it with the cable connected. So let's put it to charge and try that afterwards. Okay, let's try putting one of these into the pen and see if we can print something. So I've got the bottom half of the pen, I'm inserting the cartridge like so, you can see the tip coming out the end, and then twist, remove the cap and put one of the nozzles. I'll put a thick nozzle like so. Turn on the pen. Uh, you have a second button to, to choose the extrusion speed. I'll just put it at the low speed possible. And I'll try to print something on this mat. There is a button here at the bottom, probably to extrude. So let's try pushing it. Okay, the motor started. And I suppose it will start extruding. Yeah, here it comes. You can also see the light shining. Um, but the extrusion speed is probably too low for this thick nozzle, so I'll try to stop. Increase the speed and try again. I'll just draw something in 2D and see how it cures. Ah, it came loose. So the print came loose from the, the little printing mat. Um, the resin has cured, as you can see. Uh, it cracks. It's really hard. Uh, some parts are really hard to crack. The end part is still soft, so it probably didn't have enough time to cure. Once I stopped extruding, the UV light stopped, and that probably then didn't have time to, to cure fully. Um, maybe there is an option to shine the light without extruding. I can imagine that here you want to, to cure the entire thing before uh, uh, without extruding, that it should be possible. Okay, let's try uh, another test. I'll increase the speed even more this time. I'll keep printing with the big nozzle, but I'll try to push it against uh, the mat uh, firmly. There is one piece that cured and is now dragging.
There is also a smell. Um, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as ABS, but it does smell. Uh, the print comes off pretty rapidly, and the map is really hot when I print it. Even though there are no hot components inside the the pen, so this is probably the reaction of the resin to UV light. This one is brittle because it's it's not thick, but again, some s softer parts uh, near the end of the print, so not enough time to cure with a little light uh, on the pen. I was playing with another print, trying to to make something elevated again and uh, accidentally discovered that when you press the button twice you can shine UV light without having to extrude so this is what I was needing earlier um, to harden or to cure the print when I finished extruding I guess I'll have to read the manual next time Okay, so I've been playing with this uh, Creopop 3D printing pen for about an hour now. Um, it's easy to get started. Um, you just insert the cartridge, close the pen and you are good to go as soon as you've charged it a little uh, using the USB port. The controls are intuitive. Um, you have the power button, the, the speed regulator and then the extrusion or UV light button here um, and the cap um, I haven't been able to produce something meaningful uh, just some doodles uh, trying to get the hang of printing with this pen but I suppose that's normal um, it will require some more attempts before I can really make something nice uh, using this pen it's a bit strange um, working with the curing process, so the UV light uh, thing, especially when you have to shine light afterwards once you've finished extruding, you have to shine it a little bit more on your print to make sure that it's fully cured, otherwise you will end up with a half soft uh, around the final part that you printed. Um, other than that, yeah, the, the thing is very light, um, very silent also, the, the printing doesn't make a lot of noise. It's all plastic, so I'm a bit worried that the paint will just wear off really rapidly. But, um, yeah, I suppose that's acceptable uh, for such a cheap product. Um, the only annoying thing is that yeah, the cartridges are, are proprietary, so no 3D printing filament. You have to buy their cartridges and you cannot use anything else, so that's a bit of a downside to the whole thing. But yeah, overall, not a bad pen, but it's more of a gadget than anything else.